In this video, I'm going to show you the best defense that I know up to this point about how you can absolutely shut down the U-trips, the gun white off trips pads, the defense, the D-Croft formation, uh, probably one of the best formations in the game this year. And I'm going to share with you a defense that I like to use to absolutely slow down this incredible, incredible offense. Now, if you're new to the channel, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Now, I also wanted to let you know that today we're going to be talking about the nickel 335 and the nickel 335 wide out of the 46 playbook so if you want to learn my entire 46 defense i've got a 46 defensive ebook um, there's going to be a link in the description where you can go get access to that ebook so uh, if you want to get the entire defense there's going to be a link to that guide in the description but what we want to do is we want to put the cover four show two in our audibles and the reason we want to do this is because this is going to be the play that we're going to utilize to slow this down but we're going to audible down from nickel 335 normal why would you do this well there's a couple reasons the first one is it's a really fast audible it really doesn't take a lot of time and it's a really quick little audible the second reason why is because it is much significantly better pressure and run defense than the 335 normal the fourth reason why we would audible down is because we can put safeties at these linebacker positions whereas you could not do that when you audible, when you just come out in the mike blitz three you can't put a safety at outside linebacker but in 335, all these linebackers are considered middle linebackers. And the fifth, and I am thinking most important reason, is because when we do this and we have safeties at the linebacker position, they're gonna be able, we're gonna be able to man them up on any receiver at any point. So we can use cross manning to take away different types of routes and combinations that could give that cover four show two defense problems. Last thing I want to say before we go into the video is the cover four show two is a match defense. We're going to play match coverage and we're actually going to use some really cool adjustments to make this match coverage really, really good against the U trips. So cover four drop, we're going to audible down into the cover four show two. As you can see right here, I like to immediately press coverage and then really important. What you want to do is you want to hit Y uh, and then you want to hit X and then you wanna hit circle and flick the right joystick back. And what that's gonna happen, or flick the right joystick up, and what that's gonna happen is gonna back off your coverage on the right so that you don't get bombed by any of the plays. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna blitz your user. And then my personal recommendation would be to go ahead and shift your defensive line to the right, crash your defensive line out. If you wanted to spread your defensive line, you could do that as well. And then you want to bluff blitz the defensive end that is over the top of the tight end. The reason we want to do this is because that is going to replace that three rec hook that our user defender was in. The last adjustment we want to do is we want to take the linebacker that is blitzing and man him up onto the tight end. Why would we do this? The reason we want to man that guy up is because the problem player in the U-trips formation is the tight end and the running back. We are going to use the running back over here in case the running back does anything weird like a seam wheel or something like that. And then now we've got man coverage up on the tight end with that adjustment. So as you can see here, this is kind of the play that we like to start out in. Now I'm gonna give you kind of a basic route combination that a lot of people like to use out of this formation, which is essentially something like this. What you're going to notice is this outside quarter on the left side is going to match onto that slot receiver. The quarter flat will take the running back, and then your basic responsibility is to guard that post coming from left to right if it gets separation. Now, what's really what, what I think is really cool about this formation as well is let's say, for example, I go to a play like curl flat. Curl flat to me is one of the better plays in the U trips. You could set it up somewhat to uh, look like this and what you're going to see out of this again i could set this defense up really fast as you can see right there I'm pretty much already set up and then what you'll see now is this slot receiver on this side is going to come on this crosser and what you're going to see is it's going to get cross manned from the match and the match will nine times out of ten be able to defend it coming across the field obviously you still have your user there in case you want to user that yourself uh, you can certainly climb that route and be fine um, you don't have to back the corner up on the right. I just like to. I think it's much better than what we could normally do. The next route combination, again, is another popular one uh, from the U-Trips. And what we're going to do is we're going to motion over this Y option wheel. I want you to watch this running back route. What you're going to see is this flat uh, is going to pull this out. But again, you're here, and then it's going to get matched by that outside quarter. So you're going to kind of hang there for a second, and then you're going to be able to come back over and take the opposite side. 
if, for example, you don't want them to run that specific route combination, um, what you can do in a situation like that where they do this motion over, if they do that a lot, if this is a popular setup that they like to do, instead of shifting your defensive line to the tight end side, shift your defensive line to the running back side, use or that three or put that three wreck out there. You still, everything else is exactly the same. You just put the three wreck on the other side. And what you're going to notice is this three wreck hook defender should match the running back stride for stride and does a great job and then you're going to obviously use the post the reason i like that is because it's probably the best zone in the entire game for defending a seam wheel uh, from the running back it really truly does a great job in my opinion at taking it away you still have your tight end manned up now what we're really looking to do is kind of use her into that right side seam uh, which is a very popular uh, a very popular place to you know kind of attack in the u trips the last kind of element that i want to share with you today is a traditional flood to the u trip side so it might look something uh something like this i'm just going to use y option wheel as an example uh, so we're just going to do it and it's going to look just like this right here now we're going to go back into that cover four show too and we're just going to show you kind of the setup again like we talked about if they're not if they're not motioning over you don't have to put the three rec over here. You can, you don't have to. And what you're gonna see now is this traditional flooding concept uh, is gonna be completely bagged. As you see, the match coverage is a great job on it and you don't even have to worry about the running back in that situation. So if they're gonna flood you to the, to the trips, it's really not that hard to stop it. Why? Because we've manned up the tight end. By manning up the tight end, it significantly, and I mean significantly, makes it way less effective for this flooding combination. I'm gonna show you why here uh, one more time. So we're gonna use a post route, kind of something like this. I'm just going to use her the D lineman. Uh, just to illustrate this, I'm gonna back off circle. And what you'll see is the safety on the right side in this quarter get jammed, and then that quarter flat bails to that. And as you can see, you're gonna be able to stop pretty much every flooding combination to that side. The last thing that I wanna show you just really briefly is some type of a skinny post, a streak, a flat and a wheel, or a slant and a wheel. So you see this is kind of a, a bomb type of, type of concept. This is why we like to back this guy off, um, kind of helps with that. Uh, but now what you're gonna notice here is this match coverage really does a good job so if i see a slam i can kind of come here and then take a look at this post you're going to see it gets matched all the way up the field and taken away so guys this to me right now is the best defense in my personal opinion for defending the U trips. This is one of my favorite defenses to run. It's really simple to run it, and you get really good sheds from 335 wide. So I would really encourage you, if you want to learn a little bit more about this defense, or if you just want to become a better Madden player, be sure to join my Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you're going to get access to every ebook that I've released all season long. You're also going to get every ac access to every ebook that I'm going to release while your subscription is active. As it sits right now, we have 13 ebooks. This this 335 wide defense that I'm sharing with you in this video is one of those 13 ebooks. We've got eight defensive guides, five offensive guides. We've got the best blitzes in the community, in my opinion. We've got great route combinations on offensive side that's going to make you really tough to, to defend. And the other cool part about our Patreon is you get access to all the updates. We also drop exclusive tips. We have pro player breakdowns. I just dropped a 45 minute breakdown on probably the pro player that I like to study the most. And so if you want to learn more about this, uh, I would really encourage you to join that Patreon membership. You get access to everything. Every zone is broken down. Every match coverage is broken down. Every zone drop element that you should be using is broken down in that. And so I would just really encourage you to, tr to try out that Patreon. It's only $10 a month. You can cancel so whenever you want but by joining it you literally get access to everything like I said 13 ebooks as it sits right now i've got four ebooks coming out in the next four weeks uh so you guys i just think you know for the money it's the best best bang for your buck right now if you want to get better at this game be sure to join the patreon there is a link in the description below and you can sign up today for just 10 bucks